Good morning. I'd like to say good morning to our Sunday school class today. We thank the Lord for enabling us to come together again. It's a blessing to uh, to just uh, just to be 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 here today and and and, and be able to uh, uh, you know teach the the Word of God. Amen. It's a blessing. Amen. Uh, our lesson today is uh, uh, Lesson 7, October 18, 2020. Unit 2, Inclusive Love. And the subject is Meeting the Needs of Others. Amen. I'd like to say, giving unto God to our pastor, amen, and to our first lady, and to all of our ministers and deacons and trustees, and also to Brother Nehemiah, uh, amen, who's recovering from a uh, 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 procedure, amen. We ask you to continue praying for him that he continue to grow strong. As you pray for Sister Crystal, also, she she uh, she's uh, doing good, but we thank God that the Lord is 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 taking care of us, amen. And those that are still in, in mourning and grieving, we ask the Lord to continue to comfort them and let them know, let them know that the Lord is still with them, amen. Uh, let us pray. Father in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. We thank you for the word that we're going to uh, present today. We thank you, Lord, for our Bible study, Lord, and our teachers and Bible study. It was great teaching. Amen. We learn a lot, and we hope we get something from this lesson today to help us to be stronger and to let the love of Jesus grow in our hearts even greater. Amen. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We got a very good lesson today. Amen. And um, as we go into the lesson, amen, our, our first, uh, the subject of our first part of our lesson is insight without understanding. Amen. And as we start at um, Luke 10 and 25, and it reads as, uh, as so, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit in eternal life? Amen. We see that Jesus had to deal with people that were skeptics and they were always trying to um, discredit the word of God. But Jesus always had an answer for them. And most times he would take uh, take the question that they asked and turn it around uh uh, uh, to the person that's, that's asking, amen? He make them answer their own questions, amen? So we know, uh, uh, you know, uh, they didn't care for Jesus. They didn't care for the teaching of Jesus, but they just wanted to find some way they could discredit Jesus. So a lot of times um, uh, we want to discredit the word also so we can continue to live the way we want to live because the word is true. The word is truth. Amen. And and it 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 it, it uh, requires sacrifice. Amen. So we try to justify uh, what we say and what we do. We try to justify it in, in in some way. Amen. But the word of God let us know we can't. Uh, only God can justify us. Amen. Truly justify us. If He say we're right, we're right. If you say we're wrong, we're wrong. So the Lord, um, we, um, our, our own mouths is going to condemn us. Amen. What come out of our mouths? So a lot of times we know the truth. We hold the truth in our heart, but but we uh, deny d deny it in our works. You know, we know what God says, but we still won't do it. Amen. So let's go to 1 Corinthians. Let's start with 1 Corinthians. Amen. And... It's important that these people were, this was a lawyer, amen, and you know, a lot of times we feel like when we get an education and we've been to college and we've been to uh, 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 theology, we got all this theology, we know, we feel we know everything, amen, but this is what it says, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, the first chapter in the 21st says, listen what, is what the word of God said, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? And some things that we you see 
uh, we count as important and, and, and just oh so outstanding, amen, is really foolishness, amen. Uh, take the, take the um, uh, we got all these, uh, uh, these things with dealing with uh, uh, computers and where you can talk to the, 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 this little box and it'll give you an answer, amen. But Lord Jesus, God has been speaking to us wirelessly ever since the beginning of the world. The Lord has been speaking to his people. Amen. So there is nothing new, but we get excited about these things. But the Lord looked and said, hey, that's foolish. You got to plug it up. You got to put a battery in. You got to do all these different things just to get it to talk. But we know that the Lord is spirit and we can speak to him through the spirit. Amen. So therefore, it's foolishness. Some of the things we count as, uh, amen. Imagine that you um, put your trust in in your your car. You put your trust in the car. And say, boy, this car is wonderful. And, oh, it does this and does that. But that car can only move when you desire to move. Amen. It sit out there forever if you don't get in and drive. It. Amen. So. Some of the things we hold as being important is really not important. It's, 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 it's really junk. Amen. I went outside the other night and I looked outside and I saw the stars and how beautiful the stars are. And it's amazing how far away these stars are. And you can imagine how big they have to be for us to be able to see them being so far away from us. Amen. So God, what God created, it's amazing. You look at the moon, it's so it's just perfectly round. You look at the sun, it's perfectly round. And you got a sun sitting, the sun is sitting out there and it's burning, it's constantly burning. And yet it's not moving all this weight. You imagine when something is heavy and and, and weigh weigh that much, seems like it with all those explosions going on that's you know causing it to to, to burn. Amen. You imagine it seemed like it would be moving all over the place, but God's power is holding these things right in where they should be. The same way with the moon. The moon is always where it's supposed to be since God created it and since God put them in a set them in place. So He set all these things into place, and we should be we should be excited when we see these things. That's the excitement. What God has made is always oh, wonderful. And he made man. He created us in his image and in his likeness. Amen. So think about what God made. There's no battery hooked up to us. There's no cord. We, we have to walk around with a cord on us and plug us in and recharge us. Amen. God has fixed us so we got life in us. Amen. There's nothing else that has life the way God has given it to man. Amen. So he's blessed us and we are blessed. Let me finish this. Amen. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. And you see all this talk about science, 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 science. But they never talk about God. Amen. And uh, knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Ain't that something? You, you imagine, you say foolishness of preaching? Preaching is foolish? Is foolish? I mean, imagine you telling an 80-year-old 80, 80 person how to live. And now you've been around 80 years and you still don't know how to live right. You don't know how to love one another, love uh, everyone. Amen. Imagine, imagine that. Amen. You got, you got to teach grown people how to love. Ain't that something? It's, it's, it's like foolishness. Amen. I should not be... I should not have to uh, teach the Sunday school lesson. I should not have to teach it. Amen. We should automatically know it. But amen. We don't. Amen. Or we ignore it. Amen. But the Jews require signs. Some people look for signs. Show me the sign. I'm going to see this and show me this and show me that. And, and, and the Greek uh, seek after wisdom. Uh, people searching books and looking all over trying to find the true meaning of life, and then you all you have to do is look in the Word of God, and God will tell you He's the way, the truth, and the life. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks. 
Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Amen. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than me. Now, this the preaching is wiser than the word of God is wiser than anything any man could ever come up with. We can try all our lives, try to find try new ideas and new things, but it'll never compare to the word of God. Amen. And, and to the preaching of the word of God. Amen. And the weakness of God is stronger than me. For ye see your calling, brethren, that how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. And you don't see very many Christians in high places. You don't see very many executives that are Christian. You don't see presidents, kings, uh, queens, you don't see people in high authority that are Christians. Amen. That are saved. You see, you see janitors, you see farmers, you see people off the street, you see people that ex drug addicts, oh, they're preachers. They God have changed their life, and God may uh, ca uh, 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 call them to preach His word. Amen. So, um, if we look in the lesson, this lawyer was trying to be smart. He was trying to be smart and try to outsmart Jesus, but you can't outsmart Jesus because guess what? He knows everything. He knows all about us. So don't try to outsmart Jesus. You'll never, you'll never do it. Amen? Because he has eyes everywhere. He knows everything. He knows what you're going to say and what you're going to do before you do it. Amen? And he said unto him, uh, what is written in the law? How read it thou? Now you turn it right back on him. Amen. And he answered and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. Now he knew it already. He gave the answer. But the thing is, he knew the answer. He knew what it was, but he wasn't practicing it. A lot of people know the word. A lot of people can quote scriptures. But do we follow? Do we put it into action? Amen. Faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he said unto him, uh, Thou hast answered right. This do and thou shalt live. Amen. So the Lord told you, if you follow what you what just came out of your mouth and you do what just came out of your mouth, guess what? You're going to live not just on this earth, but forever, forever. I mean forever, eternity. Amen. But he wanted to justify himself. And that's, that's what happens a lot of times when we get caught and we see that the word is applying to us. We try to justify our deeds. We try to try to um, uh uh, uh, cover ourselves, amen. But listen, what he said, and, and, and he said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Now, you had to turn, try to turn it back on Jesus. Who is my neighbor? Then, who is my neighbor? Amen. Well, who is your neighbor? And the Lord said, and Jesus answered and said, A certain man, listen, he put, put a parable on him. Listen, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his remnant. And wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest, amen, that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on uh, the other side. And remember, we sing a song, Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior. We don't want the Lord to pass us, but we'll pass others. Amen. <laughs> we want everything that the Lord has for us and we want it and we want oh we want it double triple amen but listen are we passing up opportunities to help others are we passing up opportunities to witness to others amen when there's an opportunity to do that amen so this was the priest this was amen it's just like the, uh, the preacher here's the preacher and he he amen he sees someone that that that's been uh been robbed and beaten, and then he say, man, I, I'm not going over there, man. I'm not going to help him. See, we have opportunities. In those days, they had to, he had to, he had to take him to an inn and and, 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 and and see after him, but we can call 911, we can call the police, we can call different ones that can help that person, amen? If we see someone in distress, 
And many, many times we've seen people in distress. And I don't know, a lot of times you see people with their car broke down. They might have problems where you, in, on the highway woods, you know it's not safe. Amen. But uh, you call 911. Amen. And you, and we have opportunities to be able to help people even easier now than, we, than back then. Amen. Praise God. So here was the priest. Now along came the deacon. Amen. The deacon came, okay. The deacon came and the deacon did the same thing. Amen. We got to get out of the church, 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 the building, the building, the building. Amen. We got to, Jesus did most of his work outside of the church. Amen. We say that all the time. Jesus did most of his work outside of the church. But then we want to be in the church, in the church, in the church. Amen. What were we doing in the church? Who were we helping in the church? Amen. I guarantee now, I guarantee you're helping more people now than you did when the church, was, the doors was open. I know I am. Amen. You're being a better and more positive image to the world than you were when before you was in the church, when we was in the, the, the physical building. Amen. So we're the church. Amen. And, and, and the church passed this man two times. The church passed, the, the priest, church passed, passed the man, and then the, the, the Levite uh, church passed the man. They say, pass him up. Amen. And we, amen. Um, that, that's the 32nd verse. Let's move on. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we have to be compassionate, loving, and caring. Hey, listen, but listen, but a certain Samaritan, here comes the Samaritan church. Samaritan church, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had what? Compassion on him, and that's what we need. I pray that God give me more and more compassion, amen, to love and not have that, that bitterness toward people, amen. Try to understand what people are going through, amen, the suffering and what big people have to deal with, amen. And then he said, and went to him. He didn't go away from him. He went to him. We, it's our time we try to avoid anything that's going to cause us problems. Amen. A lot of times, uh, even in our church, we had to deal with some things and with people that were not, amen, what you call uh, desirable. Amen. That we may think is, is, is desirable for the church. But God fixes so we made room for those people. Amen. And that was a blessing. That was what we were supposed to do. We uh, came up with, with uh, ideas and how to help those people. Amen. And that's what we're here for, to help those. And God will give us an answer if we ask. Amen. Listen what he did. He bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast. That means he put him in his car. Amen. If it was today, it was, a, it was it was he put him in his car and brought him to an inn and took him to a motel and took care of him. Now, what we would do, we would bind, we would put him in our car and we'll take him to the hospital. We'll we'll take him and try to try to or either call an ambulance to come and and and, and take them to the hospital. Amen. Now this he went even farther than that. And then, amen. And brought him to an end and took care of him. Listen, he, he didn't just he didn't just drop him off there. He wanted to see the state of that person. Not let, let, let's see if he's gonna be all right. Just make sure he's all right. And we should care beyond even uh, uh, the ambulance. We should care. We should say, well, I'm gonna make sure they was you know they were all right. And with it make you feel better when you know that the person is doing okay. Amen. And on tomorrow, when he departed, he took our two pence. Look, he went. He used his own money. He used his own money. <laughs> Amen. He used his money to help that that person. Amen. And gave them to the host and said unto him, "Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee." So this man just he just this Samaritan didn't just just help. He, he helped monetarily too. So we, sometimes we have to go, we have to go in our pocket. 
Amen. We have to share what God has given to us with others. And that's tough to do because, amen, a lot of times we say, oh, I'm going to hold on to my money. You know, I don't know if I should help or not. But the Lord tell us, he say, help men to those that ask. Amen. And not worried about if you're going to get it back or not. So it's very important that we share because God has everything for us. We'll never, we'll never uh, uh, not have. Amen. God will always take care of us. Amen. Amen. Now this 36 verse says, which now of these three, now he's talking to the lawyer, thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among thieves. Which one do you think? Which one was the neighbor? Was it the was it the priest? Was it the Levite? Or was it the Samaritan? Amen. What's the answer? The Samaritan. The Samaritan was the one that set the example. Amen. Samaritans were rejected people. They were like, amen. Uh, those were the people that no, you know, the Jews didn't want to have no dealing with. Amen. But look, these are the people that help. Sometimes the people in the in, 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 in economic uh, situations uh, may not have as much, but they do more than people that have a lot. Amen. So they have they have more compassion. Amen. So because they understand, they know that these people are in, in need. They knew he knew that man was in need. Amen. And he wanted to, he he cared about that person, even though he didn't even know who he was. He didn't know his name. He just, he just knew that that was the person that was in need. We don't need to get all the information. We don't need to find out everything about a person. Amen. When a person is in need, truly in need, we need to help them. Amen. And he said, he that showed mercy on him. That's what the lawyer, oh, he said, he that showed mercy on him, he answered truth. He said, then said Jesus unto him, go and do thy, thou likewise. Amen. So the Lord said, now that you you answered your own question, you didn't he didn't need to ask Jesus that. He already knew. Amen. And he told him, listen, since you asked me the question, now you go do it. I want you to do it. And that's what we need to start ask, asking people when they bring you questions about things and why this or why that. Listen, you once you get done, you said you tell them, you go do it. Amen. Everybody know what to do, but uh, nobody want to do it. Amen. So let's put our put our set our minds on 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 the will of God. Amen. And these are the lessons that tell us we've got to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. That's it. That's your whole self. Amen. That's all of you. Heart, soul mind and strength so that means everything is covered amen meeting the needs of others amen god meets our needs and he blesses us oh praise god he blesses us so much amen so abundantly i i i just i oh well it's it's just great god is great even during this pandemic god is still blessing us and we thank god for Jesus dying on the cross, amen, for our sins that we might have a right to the tree of life. And we praise God for our, for our whole entire uh, uh, church members. Tell them, uh, um, uh, tell them the news, tell them to, to uh, 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 tune in and, and hear the Bible class and, and hear the uh, 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 Sunday school and hear our pastor preach the word of God and we thank God and continue praying for everyone and we thank God and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen.